Speedbox. Break the limits. Speedbox 1.0 for Bosch, with Smart System. Necessary Tools. Step 1, Removing the Cover. Step 2, Chip Installation Step 3, Cover Assembly. Step 4, Tuning Control. After the first turning on of the e-bike with the installed speed box it is necessary to enter the menu and check the wheel circumference of your e-bike. You can activate and deactivate speed box by entering the walk assist mode briefly. In this case, by pressing the minus button for a while. After the activation, display shows values of 9.9 .9 or 2.5, depending on whether the speed box is active or inactive. If you do not have the walk assist function enabled on your e-bike, you can also activate the tuning by switching between two assistance modes twice. Active tuning shows the real speed up to 22.2 km per hour, after exceeding this speed your actual speed is indicated on the last two digits of the display. If the display shows 22.7, omit the number 2 in the tens position and your real speed equals 27 km per hour. If the display shows 23.7, omit again the number 2 and your real speed equals 37 km per hour. The countdown process will continue concealed during charging, therefore, if you charge your e-bike with connected battery, you can ignore the following instructions. If you need to remove the battery from your e-bike in order to charge it, you need to wait for the speed box to carry out the countdown process after the ride. When you stop your e-bike, the ongoing countdown process will be indicated by the increasing riding time. Once the countdown process is completed, the riding time stops and the e-bike display shows the correct distance traveled. The countdown process can be interrupted by turning off the e-bike or by setting off, so it does not restrict the use of your e-bike in any way. However, you still need to have the countdown process run regularly to prevent tuning detection. <laughs>